Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to Football Discussions, and today we are coming at you with a seven-round team mock draft. This time we're going to be doing the Detroit Lions, uh, but before we get started, just a few things to say. One, I'm creating a, a lot more content, hope to be posting uh you know, every other day or every day. So stay tuned for that. Just posted a Matthew Stafford reaction to that trade video, as well as a reaction to another YouTuber named Bengals Mock Draft. Uh, he's big in the Madden community. So uh, if you watch those kind of videos, I'm sure you're familiar with him. Uh, but regardless, uh, so a lot more content coming out. Team mocks, obviously, uh, first and second round mocks with trades and uh, some other content as well as free agency is approaching. So stay tuned for that. And then the other thing is the 32 GM subscriber mock draft. If you are a Lions fan, and you want to uh, be the Lions GM in that subscriber mock draft once we hit a thousand subs make sure you're subscribed leave a comment down below if you're interested in that but it's only once we hit a thousand subs so make sure to subscribe and keep growing the platform but regardless let's get into it this is gonna be a seven round mock draft for the Detroit Lions and this is the draft network obviously it's a simulated draft so uh, we can't always you know take these picks realistically there's going to be some picks that shouldn't be made by the computer there's nothing we can really do about it uh, but there's also a cool feature where we get computer generated trade offers so we'll have some teams trading up with us or trying to trade up with us and then teams that want to trade down uh, and where we can move up so some something to look out for I probably won't make too many trades but if there is something that piques my interest uh, we'll get that underway but let's get this started and you can watch the unrealisticness happen on the left side um, of this as uh, it actually hasn't been all that unrealistic so far. Maybe Quiddy Pay at four is a little unrealistic, but we're here at seven. I think one of the, at least one of the big three receivers is available, and Jalen Waddle is available. So you got Jared Goff as your quarterback of the future in that trade. Hopefully, Justin Fields is here. You might want to take him. Kyle Pitts is here. You have T.J. Hawkinson that you picked in the first round last year. But with Jared Goff's contract now being mostly with the Lions, it's going to make it hard to resign guys like Kenny Galladay. Obviously, letting go of Matthew. Stafford within the trade frees up a decent amount of cap room. But I, I mean, regardless of whether you resign Kenny Galladay or not, you're going to need a wide receiver. And Jalen Waddle is as dynamic and as good as they come. So picking Waddle here is a sick pickup for the Lions. I really like that pick at seven. And we'll pick again in the second round, most likely. I'm sure we're going to get one trade down opportunity or maybe multiple uh, once we hit the 20s. But we'll see what's available. Um, and as we approach the 20s here, I just want to see if there's, and I'm going to pause the draft, see if there's anything uh, that would be worth trading up for Jeremiah Wosu Karamoa I think would be worth trading out for Lions certainly need a linebacker um as well as maybe Zavin Collins even could be worth a trade up and even Nick Bolton so those are three names that I'm going to keep an eye on Lions pick at 39 maybe we'll be fortunate enough to have one of them there um but you know all three linebackers are still on the board here Jeremiah Wosu Karamoa just went to the Browns Zavin Collins and Nick Bolton just went back to back so uh, we'll see what's available for us at 39 I'm thinking corner I'm thinking linebacker both are needs for the Lions um, obviously they, they have a little more depth at corner than they do at linebacker and we have an opportunity to move down here with the 49ers they're giving us a trade five picks away as well as a seventh that's definitely not worth it and then the other trade offer we got is a two and a five and a seven so both those aren't worth it for me uh for this 39th overall pick and we'll see what's available christian barrymore be barmore being here is very intriguing because the lines do need an interior defensive lineman up front they also need edge uh not as drastically but it's certainly a need so azizo jelari piques my interest he's actually my edge rusher that i rate number one we'll see the linebacker situation uh with dylan moses being here that's certainly something that intrigues me we do have two third round picks so we might be in the market to trade back up um for uh you know a linebacker or a corner if, if if the opportunity presents itself so we'll see i think christian barmore being here is just a little too uh in or like great value to pass up on he i have him as a top 32 player him being here in the second round is great value for the lions who certainly need an interior defensive lineman so i'm gonna pick barmore uh i know that's probably gonna be a little unpopular amongst lions fans who uh you know like or probably view linebacker as a bigger need but for right now i don't mind that pick at all and uh we'll see if we get any trade offers dylan moses just went uh we have an opportunity to move up by trading our three and a four for a two here. So I'm certainly intrigued in that. I just want to see who's available right now uh, in, in the linebacker room. Dylan Moses. So Chaz Surratt is here. So I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that. We're going to move up uh, and take Chaz Surratt, someone that I really like, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So uh, we're giving up a three and a four. I'm actually going to see if they'll do it for this other three. They say it's unlikely. What if we threw in like a five next year? And we'll do a six next year. 
we'll see if they accept this. So our later third round pick, our fourth round pick, uh, as well as a six next year, hopefully will get us uh, 53 overall. We'll see if they accept that, and they do. So they accept that offer. We, we negotiated a bit, but I certainly think it was worth it. They have cornerback as a higher need here. I think linebacker is probably a bigger need, and Shaz Surratt, man, you're not going to get a better leader on defense than Shaz Surratt. He's a great player, played quarterback for North Carolina until Sam Howell rolled around uh, there, and and you know since that day, they asked him to change positions. He did it, and he handled the change very well, became one of the better linebackers in the ACC, if not the best linebacker in the ACC, and played very, very good football this year. So um, I think that's a great pickup we have three starters so far for the lions in the first uh two rounds this is round three obviously we don't pick in round four so we only have two picks left but i think we've addressed some big defensive needs getting christian barmore at 39 was great positional value and then being able to trade up for the linebacker there at 53 was very important for me as well and of course getting a weapon for the lions and jalen waddle uh was super super good as well and you know what one of the studs from the senior bowl was here i'm gonna bosh his name but a fedu Melofanu out of Syracuse. Uh, I'm definitely taking him. That's a great pickup for the Lions. He's a physical corner, has good size to him. I actually want to see uh, his height. Yeah, he's 6'2", 212 at corner. He's a very, very talented player. Uh, Afetu Melofanu, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it, but he was a standout of the Senior Bowl, definitely held the stock. So him being available there in the third round, great value. So I think he's a great outside corner that can play right away. You have Justin Coleman on the inside and then Jeff Okuda on the outside. That's a really, really solid young cornerback room that the uh, that we have the Lions building there so far. So you get, uh, if we just want to review this draft so far, we got a stud dynamic wide receiver that's going to come in and play right away for the uh, Lions and Jalen Waddle. We get a, a stud interior defensive lineman for great value at 39 and Christian Barmore. Then we trade up for the linebacker and Chaz Surratt, great leader, someone that can also come in and start right away and develop into something that's really special. He's football young, right? He doesn't have all that much experience at linebacker so far, but he's played and he's played the position very well. I think he's only going to get better and only going to perform more so that's a huge pickup for us at 53 and Chaz Surratt and then getting another starter uh potentially in a Fedu I'm just going to call him a Fedu I think that's how you pronounce it um in, in the fifth in the fourth or sorry in the third round was really important obviously we had to give up our fourth round pick um to get Chaz Surratt but uh getting five starters in, in this draft I think is very important and we've done four of those so far so let's see who we can get here at um 150 in the fifth round again this will be the last pick of the draft for us um you know right off the bat i'm looking at caden stearns i know safety isn't the uh biggest need for the lions but you know it, it doesn't always hurt or it doesn't hurt to uh address the secondary more than once and caden stearns is a guy that i have much higher than 129 this is obviously you can see right there the draft network's predictive board this isn't my big board my big board right now is only 50 players so uh we wouldn't be able to make it all this far in the draft with only 50 players available. Regardless, I think that Caden Stearns is a super good player. Obviously had um, a breakout season season his sophomore year um, and then opted out this year. So it's going to be interesting to see where he falls. But I, I'm a fan of Caden Stearns. With him being available, I'm certainly considering that, uh, especially in the fifth round. We'll check the edge rushing situation. I think that could be another pickup, uh, as well as the offensive tackle. It really isn't all that good right now in the edge rushers. Um yeah, there's really no one that I would want to pick here at uh, 150. Let's check, uh, what was the other, offensive tackle. So Alaric Jackson would be the other player. He's another guy that had a really good senior bowl week. So I'm I'm right now torn between Alaric Jackson as well as um, Caden Stearns. I think Caden Stearns is going to, ah, that's tough, man. I really, really do like Caden Stearns. You know what? Let's make a trade here. Let's see if... Uh, we can trade some future picks to, uh, let's talk with the Broncos. They picked two picks behind us. So I'll give you um, a, uh, we'll do our, our fifth. I don't want to give up too many picks. Our fifth next year um, and a sixth in 2023. They're not really buying this. Our fifth and a sixth. Uh, we'll do a a fifth and a seventh. So trade in uh, 2022 fifth, a 2023 fifth and a seventh. 
to the Broncos for this fifth round pick. And hopefully we'll be able to pick up Alaric Jackson and Caden Stearns. Maybe a little bit of an unrealistic trade there. But I'm going to take uh, Caden Stearns here just because he's ranked a little higher on their board. Dalen Hayes goes to the Panthers. And then we'll wrap up this mock draft by getting Alaric Jackson for the uh, Lions. So a guy that had a great senior bowl. And then, like I mentioned, Caden Stearns. And I can pause this because we don't need to see the rest of the draft simulate out. These are uh, gonna. This is going to be the final draft for the Lions. So as you can see, uh, I'd mentioned on the top half, uh, obviously Jalen Waddle starter, Christian Barmore starter, Chaz Surratt starter, Afedu... I'm just going to stick with Afedu, Afedi, Afedu, um, uh, you know, a rotational corner, perhaps even your third corner and a boundary guy that you can play right away uh, at 6'2", 212. Uh, and then Caden Stern, someone that can certainly develop and grow back into a starting role if he returns to that sophomore season form uh, that we saw him have. And then Alaric Jackson, someone that can play guard right away for you. No, it's not the biggest need for the Lions, but uh, can also potentially be an offensive tackle in the NFL, someone that played very well at the Senior Bowl. So overall, terrific draft. Maybe uh, one or two unrealistic trades in there for the Lions. But regardless, uh, it's it's always fun to, you know, branch out and not do straight uh, up mock drafts and, you know, use this trade simulator a bit and make some moves and try to get the players that you want. And that's exactly exactly what we did. So overall, I thought it was a great draft for, for the Lions. Uh, let me know, Lions fans, what you all think. And uh, take it easy, guys. Peace.